Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. So we've been eagerly anticipating the release of the Xiaomi 11T series here in the Philippines. And finally, nandito na sila in this one. We're taking a look at the middle child, the Xiaomi 11T. By the way, I don't know what order you're going to watch this in, but we have videos on all three phones. So make sure you check out the playlist on the corner of the screen. Now let's get to the unboxing to see kung solid nga ba yung smartphone na to. And there's nothing unexpected from the packaging of the 11T, Malines, white, with the name of the product clear to see. And here's everything you get inside the box. You have the phone itself. This is the meteorite gray version, but it's also available in moonlight white and celestial blue. Inside the box, you're also getting a silicon case because it's always good to be packing protection. You have the all important documents that we all know is gonna be left unread. And of course, ang mahiwagang panundot ng SIM tray. Lastly, you have the charging brick, 67 watts, and the charging cable. So that's it for the unboxing. Hindi ako yung first touch para dito. So I just showed you everything that comes inside of it. And unfortunately, as of recording this video, I also don't have the price for the entire 11T series. But hopefully, by the time it gets to you, I have it somewhere on screen. And if not, Check the comments down below because I'm sure I'll have it there. Now let's take a quick look at the Xiaomi 11T. So if the 11 Lite 5G NE was light, ito naman bigaten. 203 grams, not too bad pa naman. Pero kasi yung difference nila sobrang noticeable. It's not the thinnest either, pero it has the curves to make it comfortable to hold. Although two hands at all times for this one. For the body, you have a glass back, pero unspecified kung gorilla glass, so I'm guessing hindi, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Aluminum yung frame niya, and yung screen naman is protected by gorilla glass Victus. As for the design, at least for this colorway, parang may brushed aluminum look siya, but the glass itself is glossy, so wish ko na may matte finish siya. So expect natin na yung fingerprints and oily hands will be the enemy kung wala siyang case. For the buttons and ports, medyo bare yung approach ni Xiaomi for the 11T series. There's really nothing on the left side. Up on top, you have the IR blaster, which is a staple for Xiaomi, plus one of the speakers. On the bottom, USB-C port, the other speaker, and access to the SIM tray. Sadly, it only has a dual SIM card slot, so if you like downloading or keeping a lot of media on your phone, take note, no expandable storage here. Then, of course, on the right side of the phone, you have the volume rocker and the power button that pulls double duty as the fingerprint scanner. No complaints about this. Responsive siya, mabilis, and accurate naman so far. As for the display, 6.67 inches ang size niya. And they're also using an AMOLED panel. So, dun palang, thumbs up na agad para sa akin. 120 hertz in refresh rate, so swabe ang scrolling. And touch sampling rate is also at 480 hertz. So again, really responsive here. Full HD plus resolution, so sakto lang for its pixel density. Picture quality is what you would expect from an AMOLED screen, but Xiaomi says that this is also equipped with true color and it does look pretty good. It's also Widevine L1 certified, so full HD playback on Netflix with HDR, but no Dolby Vision like the Lite 5G NE. Of course, I showed you guys earlier two speakers on the 11T, and if we compare it to the ones on the NE, definitely mas buo yung sound dito, mas maganda din yung clarity. But enough of me talking about it. Here's a sample so you can give it a listen. Now let's move on to the camera. 16 megapixels yung selfie shooter niya, f2.45 yung aperture. And here are a couple of samples here in the studio kasi hindi pa kami nasyadong nakakalabas kasi Techtober is in full swing, guys. So that's it for now for the selfie camera. As for the cameras on the back, you have a 108 megapixel main at f1.75, an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel Tele macro, so pareho lang sila lang specs ng pro. Anyway, here are some quick samples we've taken around the house. No judgments for now, we still have to play with them more, but let us know what you think about them in the comment section. 
While the 11T and 11T Pro share a lot of similarities, one big difference is the processor that they use under the hood. The Xiaomi 11T has a Dimensity 1200 Ultra and I believe this is the flagship processor on the MediaTek side of things. So expect na natin that this will pump out a ton of power but I haven't spent a lot of time with this particular chipset so tignan natin. It's paired with 8GB of RAM and our unit has 128GB of storage but it goes all the way up to 256GB, UFS 3.1 but again, non-expandable, don't know if that's gonna be a deal breaker for some of you. For the battery, the 11T has a 5000 mAh battery which is pretty much the standard that we've been seeing in most smartphones these days. Tapos yung charging niya like I showed you guys earlier, 67 watts. And they advertise that it will only take 36 minutes to fully charge the 11T. So I haven't been able to test it yet, pero sa review guide nila may mga asterisks. So tignan natin kung totoo nga ba na 36 minutes. But if it is, good for you guys, especially if you live a fast and furious lifestyle. As for the OS, no surprises here. Android 11 with MIUI 12. Expect some bloatware that's easily removed, but it's not as much as the one that I found on the NE. And actually, that's pretty much it for your quick look at the Xiaomi 11T. Again, hopefully, I will have the price for this smartphone somewhere on screen, like right here by the time this video goes live, or at least a pinned comment in the comment section that at least I can guarantee for you. But if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest in tech, head to Unbox.ph plus follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Listen to our podcast on Spotify. My name is Tito James. Peace, God bless. See you guys next time and watch the rest of the videos, guys.